In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get Wireshark installed and running on an Ubuntu computer. In my example, I'm using an Ubuntu virtual machine running on my Mac. This is Ubuntu 20.04, but the same process would apply if you were using a physical laptop or computer. I'm gonna show you two methods to install Wireshark. We're gonna use the typical sudo apt install method, which gives you a version of Wireshark, but not the latest release. And then I'll show you how to update your references so that you can install the latest release of Wireshark on your Ubuntu computer. I'm gonna keep this video very short, just show you what's necessary to get Wireshark up and running. I've also put the commands below this video if you wanna reference them. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is open a terminal I'll make this a bit bigger so it's easier to see what's going on. IP address will show me my IP address. So here's the IP address of the ethernet interface. Can I ping sites on the internet? Yes, I can ping google.com as an example, so I'll clear the screen. I'm gonna use sudo apt update to update my references. Because I'm using sudo, which allows me to run this command with root privileges, I have to put in my password. And as you can see, the Ubuntu references are being updated. Good practice to always do that first. Okay, so references have been updated. I'll clear the screen again, and I'll install Wireshark by using the command sudo apt install Wireshark. I'll say yes to install the software. So this is the easy method basically. It's gonna allow me to install Wireshark, but I won't get the latest release of Wireshark. Now in the past, you had to run Wireshark as root or with root privileges to be able to capture traffic off an interface. Nowadays, you can allow non-super users to capture packets. Basically, this allows members of the Wireshark group to capture packets. It's recommended over the alternative of running Wireshark or T-Shark directly as root, because less of the code will run with elevated privileges. We're also told that enabling this feature may be a security risk, so it's disabled by default. If in doubt, it's suggested that you leave it disabled. So I'm gonna do what they say here and leave it disabled, but I'm gonna show you in a moment what happens when I try and run Wireshark as a non-root user. We are basically given steps to enable this at a later time if we want to. So for now, I'm gonna say no. Wireshark is now installed on this Ubuntu computer. And there you go, Wireshark is installed. Notice what happens when I try and run Wireshark without sudo. Seems to be okay, but I'll try and capture traffic from my ethernet interface. And notice we told that the capture session could not be initiated because we don't have privileges. And we given a list of steps to follow to enable this feature. So we can run this command, reconfigure Wireshark common, which will display that prompt that I showed you previously that allows you to say yes or no to allow non-root users to capture packets. You would select yes in response to the question, should non-super users be able to capture packets? And then you need to add your user account to the Wireshark group by running this command. So if you ever wanted to do that later, there are the steps. You could take a screenshot of that as an example, take note of the commands and then run them if you want to allow non-root users to capture packets. I'm gonna click OK, and I'm gonna shut Wireshark down at this point, and I'm gonna run sudo Wireshark to start Wireshark again. And now, notice I see a bunch of traffic on the ethernet interface. And if I click Start Capture, I need to put in my Mac password because this is running in a virtual machine. And notice there, I can see a whole bunch of traffic. So a lot of traffic being seen in the network at this point. Just make these a bit bigger. So there you go, a whole bunch of traffic from various sources to various destinations. So the network is very busy, but I could, as an example, filter for ICMP traffic. And I'm seeing some ICMP traffic, but what I'll do here is open a new window, make this a bit bigger once again. And what I'll do is ping 
google.com. So the ping succeed, and notice here, I can see ping traffic from 192.168.128, which going back to my terminal and using the command IP address shows me that that is the IP address of the local Ubuntu computer. So this Ubuntu computer is pinging google.com. I can see layer two information. Notice it's a VMware MAC address. I'm running Ubuntu in a virtual machine on my Mac. So VMware is sending traffic to a Cisco router. That is my default gateway for my home network. So source and destination, Ethernet MAC addresses. Here are the IP addresses. So I can see a local IP address, 192.168.128, which is my Ubuntu VM, is pinging google.com. And scrolling down, I can see ping request. And then next packet is echo reply or ping reply. So I'm already capturing traffic on my network. Okay, I'll close this down and I won't save the capture. I wanna show you that the version of Wireshark that I'm using is not the latest release. So apt show Wireshark shows me that the version that I'm using is 3.2.3.1. But if I go to wireshark.org, so on the wireshark.org website, if I click download, you'll notice that the latest release is 325, released on the 1st of July, 2020. So if you're happy to run this older release of Wireshark, you don't have to do anything else. I mean, you can see that I'm capturing packets off my network. I can filter for various traffic types. So as an example, if I filter for STP, that's spanning tree, which is used by switches to ensure that there are no loops on the network. So I can see that I'm running rapid spanning tree in this example. I could capture other packets on the network. So if you're happy using a slightly older release of Wireshark, notice here, 323, then that's all you need to do. You've got Wireshark running on your computer. So for a lot of people, that's fine. But if you wanna get the latest release of Wireshark 325, what you need to do is shut Wireshark down. I'll clear the screen here. And then you need to add a repository. So I'm gonna use this command, sudo add apt repository ppa Wireshark dev stable. Basically, this is gonna allow us to get the latest releases of Wireshark. So we told that here, latest stable releases of Wireshark back ported from Debian package versions. Press enter to continue, I'm gonna do that. Ubuntu is updated. Okay, so now that that's been done, I can type sudo apt update. Clear the screen and now I'll simply install Wireshark once again. Okay, all you need to do now is reinstall Wireshark. It'll automatically update the Wireshark installation. So I've used the command sudo apt install Wireshark. Yes, to continue the installation. This will now download the latest release of Wireshark and update the current Wireshark that I'm using. Okay, I'll clear the screen. So now I'll use the command apt show Wireshark. And as you can see, we're using 3251. This is the latest release of Wireshark. Sudo Wireshark to start it. Go to help about Wireshark 325 is what I'm using. So I'm basically using the latest release of Wireshark on my Ubuntu computer. So previously I had an older release. Now I'm using the latest release. So once again, if I ping google.com from my Ubuntu virtual machine, I can see those ICMP messages from my local computer to google.com. Okay, so in this video, I just wanted to show you how to get Wireshark installed. I'll talk about some of the filters and options in Wireshark later, but I just wanted to show you how to get started with Wireshark. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and please click on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bumble, and I wanna wish you all the very best. People disappear.